When we come back, we will have more Jason Menzukis and uh. we will have a lawyer. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. Jason Manzukis uh, well, well, is well. here. Yes, as Jack and Jill said uh, uh, as they went up that hill, of course. Uh, but uh, we need to get to our next guest. Thomas Middleditch had to go. But uh, we have the aforementioned lawyer. This is exciting. Jason, are you interested in the law? I really am. You know, like I, I, I find that it's a, such an interesting topic and I'm so intrigued by people who've spent their life in true in, in seeking out the truth and 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 the law and understanding how the the laws of our country are implemented so i yeah, used to course. think that i wanted to be a lawyer but then i realized i just wanted to argue with people well can i ask you a question did you Shut ever up. did you ever <laughs> really think were you ever like did you ever and maybe you're joking about being a lawyer was there ever a, a career path you thought you might take i i i used to think that if i didn't get into show business that i would have been a lawyer because i i oh, was really? fascinated by the OJ trial. Um, uh, glad he got off for something he didn't do. Sure, um, sure, sure. And uh, yeah, no, but I I used to think, oh yeah, that would be my You're always job. telling me that I have to follow him on Twitter. Of you course, yeah, he's great. Well, he's Twitter a great presence. guest on this show. But yeah, I, I used to think it would be that, but I, I worked mainly in uh, a restaurant uh, and food service, so sure, but I probably, you, that would have been my fallback maybe, but I, but lawyers. But you, aspirationally, you thought maybe, maybe I'll be a lawyer. That could be a career sure. you, could, you would do. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. How about this you? This is going to be very exciting for you. This is exciting, but how about I, before we bring him on, I want to know about your backup career. What would you do? Because a weirdo oh, like you, I don't I know really, that you fit in anywhere know. in society. I don't know what I would have done. Um, I, you know, um, I think the thing that I thought I wanted to do was be like a drummer. You know, I played drums all oh, right, and, and yeah. even in my mind, I was like, maybe I'll make a living like as a, like in like wedding band blue man or, you know, group oh well i auditioned for blue man group like six times you know yeah oh six, really i got six i got six callbacks into blue man group so they don't give you the job after like one six audition callbacks. six they, callbacks six callbacks Big, yes six callbacks it was crazy wow. i got i got all the way to be on their stage in one of the jumpsuits and a bald cap um <laughs> doing the uh, uh doing the final callback but i couldn't their whole thing was, um, because obviously, if you know Blue Man Group, they are stoic, oh, yeah. stone-faced, stone-faced, um, you know, it's a it's a clown performance. And so they, they the guys who created it sat in the audience, and I stood on stage, and they would just say, okay, now without moving anything but your eyes, uh, we're just going to pepper you with things, and so you just react to what we say. But don't move anything except for your eyes. And then I would stand there, and they would go, what is that? What is that? Oh, you're moving your mouth. What is that? What is that? I'm trying to do it while you're doing this, by it's, the way. And, and, I, and then I, but I my mouth is do totally it. still. I couldn't do it. You're moving your mouth. You're moving your eyebrows. You're moving this. You're moving that. Like, it was like I could not quiet my face. Well, having you on the show so many times, I can only imagine you not moving your mouth uh, is something that you are unable to do. I Let's be honest. I didn't get the job for a reason, baby. And it's because <laughs> can't stop talking. I wonder if they remember the fact that you were there or no, I no 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 you know how you not. see all those those failed Star Wars auditions where it's like Nick Nolte is you know Han yes. Solo or whatever Han Solo I, would, and I wonder Russell. if they, they keep all those of like Jason Manzukis uh, that would be amazing the, the TikTok man yeah I mean it literally was I was like just out of college I didn't you know it was an open call that I answered, you know. What a what a, a fascinating parallel universe. Oh, a little where bit of you insight. you decide to do man the blue and you're man. a lawyer. Yes. <laughs> and I sue your ass. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of suing, uh, I don't know whether uh, our next guest is this kind of lawyer, but we will certainly talk to him about that. Uh, he, of course, is a lawyer. Please welcome to the show Gino Carpuzzi. Hey, how you going? Uh, doing really well. Great to meet you. I tell you what, if you're going to sue anybody for under ten thousand dollars, you're going to want me. For, oh wow! Uh, for under ten thousand dollars? Yeah, ten thousand dollars or under, because because baby, I'm a lawyer. Let me finish. Small claims. Small claims. Small lawyer. fucking claims, Scott. You're telling you in court. All right. Okay. You, need, you have a little no. discrepancy <laughs> over who did what. I need a little. I want money. You want. You want. You say I don't want to give you no monies. 
technically, legally in the state of California, you're not allowed to have a lawyer represent you in small claims. Hmm. I say hogwash to that. You I'm say here fooey. to help you. Poopsie poopsie is what I say to them. Okay. So you uh, yeah, now I've heard that when you go to small claims court, it's not really economical to have a lawyer. I mean, you're suing for such a small amount. Usually it's like, hey, I didn't get my deposit back on my apartment or uh, hey, this guy uh, uh, scraped my fence and I need to repaint it. You're suing you're suing uh, Jason here for nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars, the maximum allowable um uh, monetary compensation in a small claims court. You're telling me that's not a lot of money? I don't know. Ooh, look at you. <laughs> money grows on trees. Gino, Gino, if, 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 I, just a quick question. For those sm- small claims, t- to make it financially, you know, uh, make sense, How? what kind of money are you paid? Like, how are you living off Yeah, normally of- a lawyer gets something like 30% or something. How much do you get paid? I have a flat fee. Flat, I have a flat, flat fee, fee, no matter the case, no matter what you call, oh, no matter the that? case. Is that an hourly? Is it a daily? How no, it's it a flat fee. Jason. It's a flat fee. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's, it's win just or lose, total, okay. win or lose, flat fee. Jason, I like this new character, the guy who doesn't know what a flat fee is. <laughs> well, I didn't, I was, so, so what is the flat fee? How much do you charge? Yeah. We're looking at 12 five. $12.50? Yes. No, $125,000. Wait, what? <laughs> Do the math. You, you call Scott. that twelve five? Scott, no, I'm. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't. I didn't go to law school. Oh wait, you didn't? <laughs> no, I didn't go to law school to not to, to be to be compensated as a small as a, as small claims court maximum ten thousand dollar allowance. So your fee is one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Correct. But here's what you get out of it. Here's what you get out of it. You get you get whatever you wanted, you know, whatever. A dollar seven hundred and sixty-two. We all know the the various numbers that reside 3, within that window. Three thousand one hundred and twenty-eight and fifty-one sure. cents. Of course. Let's see what else. What else? <laughs> Eight grand. <laughs> okay, uh, nice even one there. One? Nine hundred clams. Like, what about what about like four <laughs> large? Switch over to clams. Yeah, you could get four large. Sure, you could get. <laughs> You get a get a fucking what a about dime. two what about two bozos two bozos yeah two bozos and fitty fitty bongos look whatever <laughs> sure. you want <laughs> any amount be you, it from one dollar to nine thousand nine hundred yeah, ninety nine exactly you're either getting that or having me defend that from being got from you but here's the other thing you get. <laughs> is you get your self respect you get your pride oh that's back. priceless. Uh, can't you put get, a price on your pride, can you? Can you? Can you? That's what I'm saying. Because all these people, you know, what, what are you, you going to do? Call LegalZoom with their phone number that they actually have? 1-800-773-0888? You're going to call them? <laughs> I don't know why you're you're saying your competitor's phone number. That seems it, like that, bad you business. You have it so readily available. Yeah. Go ahead. I dare you. Call LegalZoom. They'll lose you the case. You'll you, you'll pay what? No. Oh, I save yourself some money. What? Pay two hundred and fifty dollars. No, Legal Zoom is a great consulting. deal, and you won't lose those cases. Those cases are do airtight. You, do you go up against Legal Zoom a lot as an entity? Constantly. <laughs> <laughs> they're the only. They're the only quote unquote law firm. <laughs> that's, that's Legal Zoom is not a law firm. Represent people, consult people on small claims. So they're sort of like your uh, antagonist in a way. They're they're the uh, Tommy Lee Jones to your Harrison Ford. Exactly, Scott. And you know what? I just want to make this clear that I am not legally allowed to represent you in court. So what this means is we'll go over your case. All right. Okay. Then you'll be on the. Then you'll go to the court floor. You know, like Judge Judy style, standing in your little podium. Bip bap boop. Look at me. I'm standing here. The judge is like, what do you want? What do you want? And you got me behind you in the general admission area going. <laughs> general admission. Yelling at you, doing, ask for this, you know, kind of thing. How often are you shushed by the judge? Constantly. 
What the fuck does a judge know about shushing? <laughs> Wait, so they don't do it the right way? <laughs> They're I'm just ineffective. Saying, what do they know when and how to shush somebody? <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, it's like, their courtroom. They, I mean, they literally have a gavel in order to restore order to the court. So, fuck. What if this is what our legal system has come to? A bunch of judges. That's how it started. Shushing people. That's I, what I it's that's based how it on. Started. <laughs> And, you know, but they're not going to shush me in the end. I'm going to help you win. You're going to have your pride, your self-respect, and a little bit of pocket change that will, of course, go towards your deductible on my face. Of course, yeah. It's not not even 10% of the... Uh, uh, nah. Can I ask you, Mr. Carpuzzi, were you always a small claims lawyer, or did you have a career in which you were participating in larger cases, more important cases, like what happened to you such that you now find yourself in this scenario? This can't be what you wanted. To be honest, Jason, to be honest, Jason, I'm a little offended at your question. Interesting. You're asking me, you're insinuating that I was never a wee man, a little boy, <laughs> which I wasn't. But he's. I don't. Th I don't think he's insinuating that you were not an infant. Nor no, was there a, a ever toddler. a young Gino. Do we? Do we know about a young Gino? I was never life. a young Gino because I am a. I'm a cyborg. But <laughs> what? <laughs> outside wait, of that, I'm sorry. Don't worry what? about. It. Let's blow. Wait, past wait, 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 wait. But you're I, acting no, like Scott. Scott, he said, "Let's blow past let's it." Blow so let's blow past. Let it. I. I'm afraid, as host of the show, I. I definitely need a further clarification. I want to focus here. on the interesting stuff he's talking about. His law career. I don't want this un. Uh, <laughs> well, like I think the fact that he brought up that he's half man, half machine. Although I don't know whether those fractions are correct. It may be one third and two thirds. I don't know. As I'm long as it makes nine percent machine. <laughs> what? <laughs> so what? I'm which, I'm what like one percent? Your penis? Blood. So you're a small, you're a small claims human because <laughs> you're under 10,000. You're, you're under 100%. Look, I'm a small claims lawyer. <laughs> Gino Capuzzi, Gino Capuzzi, 2000. <laughs> 2000? 2000? 2000 is my full name because I'm a cyborg, you see. Wait, were you got, made in the year 2000 or, or were there 1,999 1, previous models? The latter. Oh. So, your honor. Your what honor, a the last. what a fortuitous success to 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 be yeah, successful. Yeah, what an even and you're number. Yeah. Like all the previous models didn't grow up dreaming of being a small claims oh, lawyer. Yeah. Like that's the fucking bottom of the barrel. And and what year were you built? 1996. <laughs> oh, okay, so <laughs> it can get confusing when people think your birthday is 2000, <laughs> but then you have yeah, to say no, I'm can, actually four you know, years older than that. I have no problem clarifying. Okay. Can I ask, is this something that you are public about or are you revealing this here now? Like when you're in court or when you're at, w working with clients, do they understand they're talking to someone who is 99% robot? Yeah, or do cyborg? these shushing judges, do they? Depends uh, what I'm wearing. Depends what you're wearing. What, what, what do you normally wear? Well, normally if I'm first meeting someone and I think they might be a little cyborg phobic. <laughs> What what are what are the what are the warning signs of that? Oh, big old belly. <laughs> what? <laughs> big old belly and, and high tops, high, top high converse tops. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <laughs> so so anyone with a big like, old belly and high top converse shoes. <laughs> so like a bull a bully from the fifties. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz cut, rolled up <laughs> sleeves, is a pack of cigarettes on his side. 3D glasses. <laughs> 3D glasses. <laughs> saying, oh, cool. Oh, boy, far out. Yeah, anybody like that. Anyways, if I get someone one like that, I wear a full suit, you know, so it covers, you know, covers my arms. Why? What are your arms like? Are they obviously the metal, robotic? They're metal. Metal, <laughs> metal, metal, metal as fuck. I got metal as fuck arms, metal as fuck <laughs> legs, metal as fuck chest. Ass, dick, what, toes, what about, fingers. What about, wait, what about your what, face? Ass, dick, ass, dick, and toes? Yeah. <laughs> ADT? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, everything's metal except for my face and so my So you, yeah. you have skin grafts on your face or? Yeah, but, you know, as I said, only the blood is from humans. Uh, right. The blood pumps the metal. So where's uh, the, the skin from? The blood pumps <laughs> the metal. Oh, yeah. God. Skins from skins from dead bodies. <laughs> oh, okay. 
of huh. pigs. You got to let me finish. Oh, okay. I, I, okay. I did let you finish. I didn't interrupt you. So <laughs> got to let me finish. Hairs from wolves. So, wow. Wow. Yeah. It's the only way they could get it. I mean, like, like wolf hair, pig blood. This is like. No, human this- blood. I got, I got, I got, I'm a man. I'm a man that's obsessed with details. Trust me, to win in small claims, it's the little things. Wolf hair, pig skin, human blood. Yep. Metal, everything else. Yeah, robot. Wow. Robot body. Can I ask you a question? Go for it, you fucking animal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will do. I mean, I, I, mean, I got a green guy, light here. <laughs> uh, how, how big do you... I like? I'm I'm feeling the wolf coming out Small of Small claims is about attitude, swagger. You go in there shaking <laughs> like a leaf. Not only is the other <laughs> other guy gonna have his way with you, the fucking judge is gonna shush you. <laughs> oh, that's the worst thing that can happen to a lawyer. Nobody wants to get shushed yeah. by the judge. Hell no. That's why I'm in the back, making sure you don't. So so how how big do they build your your robot penis if they I mean if that's metal how like do they do they give you a good one Let me just say it's only my legal practice that small claims Oh wow <laughs> Amazing And you're a 24-year-old uh I was going to call you a man but uh uh you're, yeah, you're more a machine year than old. man do you consider yeah. yourself to be more machine than man? I'm or? actually more than 24. You know that, right? Uh, how do you mean? You were built in 1996. Yes, but I have actually traveled back in time from the year 3333. Oh, wow. Oh, so, so wait. like Terminator style? Yep. So you were built in 96, and then you lived until... Lived all the way until 3333. Yep. Wow. So you are actually... And then, and then, how long ago did you get here? I got, I got here, I got back here in 1996. Oh, wait. I had to live, I had to live all this shit all over again. <laughs> oh no! What was the, what was the worst part of that? <laughs> wait a second. So, in 1996, were there two of you? Like, are there two of you right now? Yeah. That the you must you came back to a time when you are also still here. Yeah. The big thing is Christmas Day year. T- you're t- 2020. I got to square off against myself in small claims court. <laughs> oh, no. So you were a lawyer even back then. Yeah, we're leading up to the big showdown. Christmas Day. <laughs> Christmas Day. <laughs> Christmas Day. Wow. Christmas Car- Day. I got to be in court where you guys are up all around the fucking mistletoe. Jack and each other. Carpuzzi v. I gotta Carpuzzi. I got to be in court getting twice. <laughs> What's the case? Carpuzzi v. Carpuzzi. <laughs> You know the case? You know, we again, we're representing our clients. So the case is a fucking discrepancy in, in a fucking plumbing bill. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and so you... But I got to beat this guy because this guy, when a guy, when a guy, his, na- his, name's, his name's Eddie Schultz. If he okay. wins, when he wins, he goes on to be... Uh, a total tyrant. He becomes king of America because that oh, starts happening. Oh, wow. And he launches a whole nuclear strike, and then the cyborgs take over. I'm sorry. So you're here to prevent him from winning this the is, case. So you, you're going like up against a legal, when you, This is like a legal version of the Terminator franchise. When you open up the little <laughs> book here of the, of the space-time continuum and this you and do, that. You are holding a map. very small book. Yeah, I got I got all the, law, the law, all the law in the world's in this little book. <laughs> wow. All the law from now until year 3333. Three, three. So do you remember 1,500 years ago when you first tried this case or when you were first the lawyer? Do you remember the things you that you instructed your client to do? And, and now are you able to provide counter arguments against that? I said, don't back down. I was from the, I remember saying, don't back down from the bench. Don't let them shush you. And then I says, <laughs> just your says, standard advice. <laughs> yeah, that's my boilerplate. I plan on doing this. I plan on doing to the defendant as well. Okay. <laughs> so this is gonna, we're going to be getting into a yelling match over here. All right. <laughs> Christmas Day, a real shout fest. Is this on? Is this on pay per view? I mean, this is a holiday event. This is sounds I mean, amazing. Look, I would love to charge for it because I have no qualms about making some extra. Pennies in have you, life. while you're here now, yeah. have you been in touch with 
Gino Carpuzzi 2000 of the present timeline. He, I can't. You can't. Oh. If I do, if I get in touch, if we start yipping and yapping and get to know each other, space time implodes. Oh. Even if you're both cyborgs. I mean, I yeah. understand the human mind might not be able to understand that, but, but you're processing, but you got, yeah. you got to I mean, remember, you, Jason, you got to remember, yeah. these are the things that you might forget if you're not a small claims lawyer. I got human blood. It's not the mind. It's the blood. Oh. So for the past 24 years, you've had to avoid everywhere that you went for the past exactly. 24 years. And I like doing the same things as myself. <laughs> Who knew? So do you do you remember all that using your cyborg brain? You remember every single place you were ever at from the years every of 1996 place. through 2020? Have you had any close calls with yourself? One time. <laughs> I was going to in and out Burger. Sure. And I, the, I These yeah, are the things you like to do. I, sw I swear I thought it was 3.33 p.m. Turns out it was 3.36. Oh, no. And you like to eat at 3.33 because it's it's so close to the year you're from, 33.33. <laughs> the year he traveled back, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't even want to tell you about the shat, the time shadow version of myself that's still continuing on in three thirty three three. Oh, in the oh, wow. in the alternate universe that it's uh, the real universe. You guys don't understand when you time travel, you create a split. Sure, I understand sure. a rift, if you a will, a schism, a schism. Yes. I don't, you know, I don't want to get too in the weeds. Two time streams. No, we do understand, even though we you understand. said we wouldn't. Two time streams. It's not you going back. It's a split of yourself going back. So there's actually three of me's now running around. <laughs> Which one do you like best? Ah, uh, you're talking to him. Ah, <laughs> yeah. One of, one of the things that I find very interesting about this is that if you are Gino Carpuzzi 2000, indeed a successful lawyer, small claims, cyborg from the future, traveling to this time in order to try a case in some very few months time. Yes, you're getting it. Who who <laughs> built who built you? Who controls you and what is their agenda? Oh. Like who is the cyberdyne for you? I call them my daddy and my mommy. But <laughs> you probably go, the, to you, there's some version of parents. So dad that daddy and mommy is parents? Okay, <laughs> those are the same. <laughs> parents and let me finish. Parents Incorporated. It's just, it's an oh. underground robotics corporation. Okay, yeah. you got to understand they got they got they got a he headquarters all around the world. Oh, oh you, you're talking very quietly all of a hey, sudden. If I if I talk too loud, they'll hear me. <laughs> <laughs> they have you ears daddy everywhere. And daddy and mommy will hear you. <laughs> Mom, yeah, daddy and mommy are gonna hear me, and they're gonna take me back and put me in the underground robo world. Okay, so I gotta solve this. Robo world. We haven't heard gotta, about this. I gotta Every solve as many small claims cases <laughs> as I can. So, because once I get to so 2,000 what? cases, once I get to 2,000 plus 1,333 <laughs> cases, I can be free. Wow. Oh, okay, and do you wow. even know what I'm talking about? Because on December 25th, 2020, <laughs> that's gonna be my 300. 3,333rd case. Whoa. So not, wow. not only do I got to win to prevent the tyrant from being a er King America, I got to win to gain my freedom. Amazing. Wow. Well, um, look, we have to take a break, but I want to I want to pull on these threads if 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 you don't mind. I mean, uh, uh, so many questions. I mean, look, when you first came on, I got to admit, you were kind of a, I mean, it's a whimsical thing that you're a small claims lawyer pretty uh, silly right <laughs> pretty silly but yeah this this new information has just opened up it's uh, almost through just having this conversation we've discovered so many new and bizarre things about you almost to the point where it's hard to control <laughs> hard <laughs> to remember go <laughs> these are all listen i'm so excited to have made a series of choices yeah. in order to go, have gotten here little yeah, choices you could there be yeah little choices yeah, yeah tiny, wait what do you know tiny. about little choices <laughs> wait wait you know about 
about little choices? Mm-hmm. Of course, we'll I be right back. Little... We're going to a break. Okay, we got to go to a break, but when we come back, we got to follow up on this, okay? If you I know about little questions. choices, I got questions for you. <laughs> okay, look, we'll be right back with more Gino Carpuzzi 2000, more Jason Manzucas. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back with Jason Manzucas, and hey, uh, we also have a very interesting person here with us, or uh, I say person because uh, uh, he's got pig flesh uh, that I'm looking at, and it leads me to believe he's a person, but I have to keep reminding myself that... you got to uh, remember, he's, he's full of human blood. He's full of human blood, but the other 99% is cyborg, uh, or I guess the other 99% is machine, because that makes him a cyborg. Uh, please uh, welcome back to the show, uh, Gino Carpuzzi 2000. Hello. Look, I got to ask you something. <laughs> yeah. Does the name Caitlin So Fresh mean anything to you? It In means fact, a lot of things to us. She has been a guest on this show. You're kidding me. I, no. No. Probably two years ago now. You had the Emperor of the Five Galaxies. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, she's on the your- Empress of the Five Galaxies? You're saying there are five galaxies that are all united under one government? They're all... It, it, there are only five. <laughs> They're a whole lot closer than you think. <laughs> oh, wait. So these are the total galaxies in the universe. We, we always thought that there were so many of them, but there's only five. And there is still, at this point, in, in, in 333, under her rule, there is still need for small c- claims cyborg lawyers? More than ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a complicated world, I can only oh. imagine. Basically, all legal disputes are settled for monetary value of $10,000 or less. Well, I would imagine that in the future they figure out money so that no one has need or want uh, for for anything. And so uh, everything would be small claims court. You guys are in for it. 2021 is when they find out that the, that the universe is actually pretty small and there's only five galaxies. You're going to find out. Next year? Soon. Whoa. Yeah. yeah you're how do, find we, out how do we find out? Do you mind if I ask? You'll see. Just remember, <laughs> at night... Look up at the stars. It's real. Wow. Every night? It's really interesting. We seem really fascinated and obsessed with Gino Carpuzzi 2000's present day life. Uh, yeah. We barely asked him about the future that he comes well, from. Well, yeah. Can, can I ask, can you narrow it down a little bit uh, so I don't have to look up at the stars every single night? I mean, that's going to get a little tiring. You'll know. You'll know, buddy. Trust me. No, I know. I'll know. But I mean, if you could narrow it down to like a month, you know, where I'm supposed to be looking up at the stars. All or... right. All right. From in between February... <laughs> In December. <laughs> That's okay. I get January <laughs> off. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. What I mean, what's pretty what's pretty staggering here is the reveal that in some, you know, uh, whatever it is, uh, 1,300 years from now, Caitlin So Fresh is not only still alive, but thriving. Yeah, how does she stay alive? Now, look, you know, uh, you guys probably know more than me because for me, it's all legend and hearsay, right? It's like from the ancient tomes and so oh, we, say yeah, it, the Lord and all her. that. Okay, well, maybe you could clarify. You but could apparently, meet her right now. Like, you live in her timeline. Yeah, right you, you, you could have looked her you up watching or her on watch YouTube? her YouTube channel or anything. <laughs> yeah. You could be interacting with the, the person who is the emperor of your time. Robots can't watch YouTube. <laughs> oh, <Whoa>. I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, so apparently, you know, so from what we know in Bible studies is that <laughs> Kaylin so fresh goes down and makes all these little choices and then she <laughs> she uh she goes to the portal. Now what the portal did to her that she maybe doesn't know until like she's like a thousand years old or something, is that she's become immortal. She doesn't wow. know until she's a thousand. I think I would figure well, I, it out after eighty years, maybe. All right, all right. Yeah, so I was given a thousand as an example because for <laughs> me, I'm gonna I'm also immortal. So you know that sounds like a short amount of time to you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, well, you know, what's the th- give or take a thousand? It's a blink of an eye for me. <laughs> sure. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, she becomes immortal and battles the king of America. How does Eddie Schultz get interested in politics? He's a plumber by trade. Well, when he wins the when he wins the case that <laughs> my earliest self the prosecutes on him, well, you know what, you know the word. <laughs> represents tries. him. Sure. Tries. Okay. He takes that money and invests in a third political party called the the Kingdom of America Party. Here's my question. So, did you travel back in time now to 
Make sure that your past self wins again, or do you need that past no, he's trying self to, to lose? He's trying to get him to lose. I have to he's, defeat him in a high-stakes Christmas Day small claims court. Okay, that's what I'm making sure, to change the events in history. Now, don't you think that 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 Caitlin So Fresh might consider that a threat to her future uh, empire and will, in this timeline, try and take you out? Well, well, I don't know that Caitlyn so fresh knows about her empire yet, right? She's still... Well, I mean, like, uh, who's to say she's not being faced with a choice right now to know or not know? Her current... I mean, look, are there <laughs> the 12 assassins that are on my tail? <laughs> yes. Who are these the 12? 12, are they yeah. time-traveling assassins? I have time-traveling assassins that are on, that are <laughs> no, on my tail. No, 12 of them. I've endangered wow. you both just by talking on your podcast. Oh my god! And why twelve? That's the number of the uh, uh, of Jesus's disciples. Uh, it's not them, is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. They were time travelers. Holy shit! Peter, the rest, Mark, <laughs> All of them. Paul, yep, Judas, Jacob, John, Jingleheimer, Schmidt, the whole <laughs> fucking gang. Who's the best? Who's the best at assassinating? Gary. Yes. Yes, wow. Queen. So we we <laughs> have to go back. How and fun! By the way, how fun becomes... was it? How fun was it that you got to travel back in time to when Yas Queen was still being said? <laughs> yeah. Did you no, miss it, it in the future? You don't have to understand. You have got to understand. I was 1996, so I had all these years of waiting. Like, oh, I'm saying it, and people are like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> Do you know? And then finally, it comes back, Broad City. I'm like, Yas Queen, and for a good couple of years, it was a fun time. But now it's on the way out. <laughs> yeah. Too bad. What are you gonna do? I'm yeah, sure we'll fun. figure out something. Now that yeah. is people calling people king and all that. That's pretty fun. What do people say in the future? Like, what's slang in the future like? <laughs> it's, uh, hey ho, motherfucker. It's like, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, hey ho, motherfucker. <laughs> hey ho, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, people, you know, there's a thing called a quanch. No, what's a, what's a quanch? I don't think a we've Q gotten there yet. A Q W A U N C H E. A no, we don't, we don't know what it is yet. Uh, it's kind of like a, you know, like a, uh, like a fucking little, like a fucking little, like a prick, like some kind of little mooch, like a fucking, like a little rat fuck running around in the streets, like, hey, I get donations for the Salvation Army, they're just for oh. me, you know, like that. So the oh, Salvation okay. Army still exists in 3333? It is the rival political party to the <laughs> what? Emperor of the Five Galaxies. Oh, so... Oh. So it's well, that, well, that's interesting that there are political parties, even though there's an emperor. I mean, yeah. like, like usually, yeah, usually, usually they just take over and there's are, no democratic yeah. process of a vote or. Yeah, it's crazy out there. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, look, but I will say everything you've said makes sense and adds up. It is yeah. a completely it's a rock solid mythology. Yeah, you're doing the math and you're coming up. You're coming up a win yeah. over here. Hey, anyway, yeah. under under what under what name do you practice right now? Because obviously you can't practice under uh, Gino Carpuzzi because that was your former name and there can't be yeah. two lawyers. It's the IMDB rule. You yeah. there can't be two lawyers with the same and name. And he can't know about me either. If he figures out that right. then you do the math so and it's then I want to see difficult. me and then we'll evaporate yeah. space time. What was that? It's got to be very difficult for you to be have an active law practice yep. at a, in a timeline where you yeah. already have an active yeah. law. So I pick. Practice. I mean, my alias right now, as uh, having gone back in time, is is Gino Capuzzi, Capuzzi two thousand one. Mm. <laughs> okay, I see. <laughs> so that so that is not tipped off your former self, your your past life. I don't see all. how it could. That's basically. Have you ever cryptid. almost run into yourself in court or anything like that? I guess you remember where you are, so you can do this. I've you had can... to represent a lot of cases I wouldn't normally represent. You oh. understand? Because he's calling first dibs on all the ones that I would want. You know. So and you're, are you at yeah. all? Are you at all tempted? to uh, tamper with the events of your past self's life to make them better? Like, is there any way in which you're like, I could make, like, were you as uh, in the actual, when your first time uh, in 2020, like, were you like, oh, I see everything that's happening. Have you this year been at all tempted to be like, hey, everybody wear a mask or hey everybody shut it down or, or, or just stuff like, in have, your personal life like have you have you tried to back to the future two stuff where you're like hiding behind a window and tapping on the glass and or trying to get a lost love or something yeah no yeah well here's the thing here's the thing i have to ensure that everything goes just as it was i have to play possum until 
December 25th, you understand? That's yeah, when I can really it. drop the hammer. That's the thing about law, Jason, Scott, okay. yeah. is that it's all about time. You got to build your case. You know what I'm saying? You've been and building it for 24 years. Yeah, yeah. Do you think I haven't wanted to? I haven't wanted to build them up. I wanted to thwart them in some way. I'll tell you one thing I did, and I shouldn't have done it. I'm going to tell you right now, but I okay. could get legally into trouble. All right, tell us, please. <laughs> I, as well as my old self, Happen to like premium Brooks Brothers loafers. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but Brooks Brothers does top shelf loafers. They're I, in the I, I, I'm, I'm, I've, I've never no been idea. in the market for loafers, so I, I wouldn't know that. Yeah, it, trust me, it reads. They're in the back, though. J I'm talking more to Jason because he looks like a, he knows what a loafer is. Oh, yeah, sure. I know what a loafer is. I just I don't have time to loaf. Yeah, but you never wore shoes. one because you don't have class, Scott. It's not a class thing. I just I I'm, I'm a busy guy. I usually sure, am sure. wearing a yeah. more active shoe. Yeah, like a nice high top Converse. I bet. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. no. Don't paint me with that brush. <sighs> this guy, a real sneaker guy. A real He's a real quanch, if you ask me. <laughs> hey, come on! Classic I know what that means now. Quanch. All right, Jason. So Brooks bought this high to high uh, uh, high loafer. quality top shelf loafer. Yeah. Now I went in. This just this last summer, I went into all the Brooks Brothers in Los Angeles, and I bought all the nice loafers up. I tell you, I spent a lot of money. So he goes in there. He's going to be on court in court 25th looking like a total schlub wearing last year's models. <laughs> <laughs> Man, amazing. So psychologically, you already have one up on him. I'm in his mind. You're is... living rent-free in his head. Yeah. What's going to happen when you, when, okay, what's going to happen in court when he stands up and starts shouting at his client what he wants his client to do, and you stand up on the other side and start shouting at your client, both of you in general admission, as you've said, having purchased the lowest price tickets to sit, to sit in the court, just, is he going to really freak out, or do you think he has any idea you're here? It's why the case is being tried on the 25th. I don't know if you're aware of this, but every year on the 25th, in courthouses across America, a vortex is established. Oh, what? I, did, I did not know I, that. I don't know how vortex. we would know this. A time vortex? Yeah. A time vortex is established with the five galaxies aligned every year on the Lord's on Jesus' day. Oh, and, and those 12 assassins, his buddies. Yeah, yeah. This is a Christian allegory that... <laughs> This We're is like Pilgrim's it Progress. Lines, it lines up. <laughs> it lines up perfectly. Yep. And so that on that day in courthouses, we can see each other, talk to each other without time, space, imploring. So, you know, okay. basically, what's going to happen? It's going to be my big reveal. He's going to be like, "What the fuck?" And I'm going to be like, "Yeah, wise guy, it's you." And then, uh, and then I'm going to whoop his ass in court. But when 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 this happened the first time you lived in this is this is what I want to ask you is, is do you do you remember all of this happening? Do you remember arguing this case the first time against a guy named Gino Carpuzzi two thousand one? You damn fucking right, and I won, and I defended the plumber. <laughs> I so never this lose is a case. This is just gonna happen again. You're you're I, caught in a time uh, loop. I think you're in a loop, buddy. What are you talking about? There's no such thing as loops. Do you, do you remember the last time you did this 1,500 years ago and you went up against Gino Carpuzzi 2001? Do you remember him getting in your head and, and buying and up all the loafers and you being course, uncomfortable? Now I know more. Do you think buying up a bunch of fucking loafers is going to throw me? Well, it did. Me? I mean, it didn't the last time. Exactly. <laughs> You're proving our point here. I think... I think I think maybe the young Gino has an edge on you. I think having lived so long, you yeah, might be slowing you might down. Be you are an older model. We, we, we were still the same model. I mean, yeah, sure, we got a little bit of a little bit of rust in uh, cogs, and maybe our human blood is a little congealed, and our pigskin's <laughs> a little bit rotten. <laughs> How long oh, has that been rotting, by the way? Because I'm getting a it really close is look. Flaking, uh, yeah, it's, flaking off of you. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'm not a I'm not a stranger to makeup. I'm not. That's not that's not weird to me. <laughs> I would think in the future it wouldn't be weird to anyone. But. Yeah, it's not weird. It's not weird. All right. So so I I'm just worried here that this is all futile. Do you? How many times have you done this? Do you remember? How many times have I done this? Yeah, I mean, how many times have you? 
gone back in time and lost the case and okay hold on let me do the deal let me do the math on this <laughs> three thousand three hundred thirty three so you've lost this case three thousand three hundred and thirty three times and you've gone back in time trying to rectify that three 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 Oh, wait a minute. Right. Three plus three is six. Plus, plus three, three is nine. nine. Plus three is twelve. It's twelve. Divide the twelve, 12 assassins. The twelve assassins. The 12 assassins. Don't say. Oh, divided shit. by five galaxies. Twelve oh, divided boy. by five. Is plus two one point emperor. Two point two, two, two five. Two point two five or something. Two point two five. <laughs> five minus two, minus two. That's only one. One Washington Lane. No. The next clue is at the White House. Oh no! Oh my God! We got to get to the White House. Oh, this is. <laughs> I can, I cannot believe how many threads of what I call wow. a middle verse are being pulled together right now. <laughs> the, the the MCU, the, the middle ditch cinematic universe. <laughs> sure. <laughs> The ditch, the ditch of Earth. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is incredible. Wow. Well, uh, the like I really feel like the the red string connecting all of these pieces is all starting to come together into one straight line. Yeah, of course. If it doesn't make sense to you now or any of the listeners of this thing, they're fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we say that every show. <laughs> Do the math, you dopes. Wow. Well, this is this is incredible. Christmas Day. Wow. I I, uh, I I want to hear how this goes. I mean, is there a... will it be live streamed yeah. anywhere? Maybe be on live Twitch? streamed on Twitch. <laughs> Twitch TV front slash middle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why not middle Twitch? That's been pointed out to be so many times <laughs> <laughs> to you. Yeah, and I'm representing a guy in small claims. Oh, who's he suing? <laughs> He's being sued by by <laughs> people who thought of Middle Twitch. Oh and man! And he says his he says his whole case is don't worry, I'm doing the hashtag, so you get both. But you 